My biggest complaint of the Razer is the keyboard. So I've devised an expert typing challenge. We have the Razer Blade Pro 17, the Dell XPS 9700, this Lenovo something or other. I don't remember what it was, it was a cheap one. The Lenovo C640 4K Chromebook and the Lenovo Yoga C940. And you tell, I know you're saying that's a lot of laptops. I'm an important guy, I need a lot of laptops. I bought this for myself when I was traveling, but I'm not traveling, so I don't really need a small laptop. I bought this one to try a Chromebook, and I liked it. That's what I bought for my son. Now I'm upgrading my laptop to the Razer Blade or the Dell XPS. First I bought the Razer Blade and I didn't like the keyboard, so now I bought the Dell XPS. So we're gonna go through a little typing challenge. So we'll start with the Chromebook. This is a 15 inch Chromebook with a 4K screen. It's pretty sweet. And actually I really like this keyboard a lot. So we're just gonna go to typingtest.com. My wife has never used this device or any of these devices. Uh, but she doesn't know how to type, so, I mean, not my wife, my beautiful assistant. Don't tell my wife. Oh no, I'm so nervous. I do not have to type. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right. That is not my best. <laughs> so she got 42 <laughs> words per minute on the Chromebook. All right, now I will try the Chromebook. She's never used this device before or Terry taken this test before. I have used the device and test this test multiple times. You cheated. I, you know, this was really my main laptop other than my work device for a while. And I do really like the keyboard. All right, so let's start the test. <laughs> Sometimes they repeat these, but not enough that I can't memorize them or anything. Alright. So I got 62 words per minute in my youth. I'm pretty sure I got way faster than that, but now I've been uh, testing these things and I've been getting around these scores. Alright, now we'll have the boy test. <laughs> Well, don't worry, he doesn't know how to type. He's out hunting peck his way to it. All right, so now the boy goes. Just hit retake test up there. He has not used this device, but he has used a Lenovo Chromebook. The keys are different on various Lenovo devices, but so he has a little bit, I guess, ease of this, but not quite. He also has dropped on his head a lot. Have you ever dropped a baby? <laughs> Holy shit, do people overreact. As a baby. So. All right, so by far the worst score. <laughs> Not even really close, <laughs> so. <laughs> I'm gonna hold the razor for last so these other folks can get used to typing on the various keyboards and the test itself. So again, this is the Yoga Chromebook. This is a 15 inch device. I really like the keyboard. When I first got it, it was 4.6 pounds. It still is 4.6 pounds, but I thought it was kind of heavy, but now both of these devices are way heavier and this one feels super light. I'm also insanely strong, so that's part of the equation. So here is another Lenovo 15 inch laptop, but this one has the number pad on it. This will be the only one today that has the number pad, but they are very different keys than the previous one. These are more rubberized and they have that little shield look to it. This is also Windows and it has a terrible screen. But for the price, it's a pretty great device. All right, so we're gonna go right back into it. This will be my lovely assistant. <laughs> All right, so 51 words from it. This time she took the approach of just not correcting mistakes and power on on through there. I'll give it a shot. You can see those 59, 57 were my previous attempts on this one. So I was trying to see, I don't think I've ever had a laptop with a number pad on it, but I was considering. When you look at 17 inch laptops, most of them have a number pad. So this is a 15 inch laptop again, and this is the Lenovo keyboard. This one, I do not have very much experience with at all. Really when I took this test, it's probably the only time I've ever used it, other than the you know initial unboxing and whatnot. Sixty-six words minute. So again, I'm staying in that same ballpark. You also type all day. <laughs> you don't. Well, that's the point of this test, really, is that I need a device that has a good keyboard. I do a lot of typing. I write 
lots of documents, emails, and whatnot. And so when I first got the razor, I found that keyboard to be distracting. So. And I'm just busy changing children's lives in the public school system. Okay? <laughs> I don't have time to type. And the boy got dropped on his head, as we said. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Take even, your time. What makes this even worse is this is the key this laptop. Is on the wrong key. Well, this is his laptop. He used this for the one I bought him to use for school. So he's that's used this I mean. one. Yeah, he's used yeah, this no, one. What... He used this more than any laptop, and he's obviously the worst at this one, apparently. <laughs> he's also using the don't correct anything method. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a 18. <laughs> 18. He might have had a seizure in the middle of that. I don't know <laughs> what happened there. Did you take a little nap? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Lenovo Yoga C940. I love this laptop. I love this keyboard. If it was just bigger and more powerful, it would be no question. This would be my daily driver. Look at that sweet ass <laughs> wallpaper. <laughs> this one has a 4K screen. When I bought this, I was still a traveling businessman. So once again, this is a metal device. The keys are those shield shaped, but they're a lot harder. They're kind of a combination of the hard caps that were on the original Chromebook one and then on the same shape as the one on the one we just tested. I really like these keys a lot and it's making me consider that I may want to get the Lenovo Legion, but we'll see how the... For a number pad there. <laughs> Numbers are the hardest. So it's interesting you instinctively reached over for a number pad when there is no number pad there. Mm. I don't think your keyboard, your normal keyboard even has a number pad. Don't distract me. <laughs> About 51 worse a minute. So she was doing... better on the last one. No, you had 51 last time, right? I did? I think no, so. I thought it was so I was talking and distracted her, but I do feel like she was no, typing. No, the numbers slowed me down. The numbers slowed her down and then, well, we did talk things. I said you were reaching for a phantom number pad. Yeah, but you're, no, there's no prayer you're going to be above us. So. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, retake the test. So again, I mean, I actually didn't really use it that much because I bought it for traveling and then we had a global pandemic and I stopped traveling. So, but I do like this laptop. I do like this keyboard. It looks like your hands are bigger than the screen. Keypad, I mean. That's I'm just trying to talk to you to distract you. Because <laughs> you kept talking to us and distracting us. That's not fair. <laughs> Tom. So 58, this is my worst one so far, but I was also being actively distracted. <laughs> But also at this point, I have been typing on much larger keyboards and this is a 14 inch device. So it's, it's smaller than I was typing previously. I've been using the 17 inches and the 15 inch laptop. So here comes the true test. <laughs> we'll see if he can beat that 18. We'll see if he can break my camera. <laughs> Something's lagging. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, so 27. That is his best score yet, right? Or would you get the first time? Okay. All right, so my worst score, but I really like the keyboard. So this is the Dell XPS 9700. Almost every review you watch will say they love the keyboard. And there are nice big keycaps. There is like a soft touch here. It's supposed to make it easier to type on. And it's probably the largest keys probably since the Lenovo Chromebook, so they do pick up a little bit of oil. You can see it's not as clean as the Lenovo's do. This is a 17 inch 4K screen, which is very nice. Boom! Uh -huh. 69! That is by far her highest <laughs> test. So she got a 69 there. It is a nice keyboard. I'd like to point out that's the test, same test Noah just took. <laughs> I don't know why. I have this Amazon Halo. This is anecdotal, but I don't like how it feels when it presses on there. That's what I took my, watch. my watch doesn't usually bother me, but since my wife scored up in 69 here, I got to get in the zone. <laughs> so competitive. <laughs> So 
Oh, the 290. Oh, yeah. So, what's that? So you can see my history. Even though I do like this keyboard the best, that's part of the, the reason I want to do this test. Like if I was just saying which keyboard I like the best, it would probably be this one. You know, I say I like the Novo better, but it's smaller. So the Novo is bigger, it would be my favorite. But I mean, I'm getting averaging close to 60 every time, either in the 60s or high 50s. But I did not do super great on this one, right? I'll let the boy get his six words a minute in. So 41. He his... said told you. <laughs> oh, he showed me. So he also scored this highest score on the Dell. So both my wife and the stranger scored the best on the Dell so far. So here we are on the Razer Blade Pro 17, which is a great looking device. Very nice build quality. I really like the metal feel of it. I mean, it's metal, so I like how it feels like metal because it is metal. And you can see the keys are all changing colors, which is nice. But I'm interested to see how someone besides me types on here. So 54 for her here. I don't remember what your first. I think it's my second best. Maybe. Second best. So now I did somewhere in this video actually measure the keys and the keys are smaller than all the other keys, even though the deck is the biggest. So 64, which I don't recall, that might be my fastest test, which is what's so confounding because as I'm typing, I feel the keys are small. I feel like it's awkward to hit the numbers or any symbols, but I consistently have been getting faster tests when I test on here. I felt like my fingers were slipping on the keys. Like these are like a hard plastic, I guess, so they can be a little slick potentially, but for me, it just feels cramped. But somehow, every time I run the test, I'm testing higher, which makes zero sense to me. And my wife had her second highest, but let's see if the boy can get two words. Now, in his defense, he can't read, so it is problematic to take these kind of tests. So we got 40. You know, the travel distance is like 1.1 millimeter. On the Dell, it's 1.3 millimeter, which is obviously longer or deeper. But uh, I don't know the travel distance for the other ones, so. All right, so now we're gonna have a little wild card action. Just when you thought it couldn't get any crazier, <laughs> boom! We Logitech MX keys. Still on the Razer, but this is a proper full-size keyboard and a very expensive keyboard that is, you know, considered, I would assume, if not looking at mechanical keyboards, one of the best keyboards. So 63. So I think you had 69 on the deal. Oh, did I? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. All right, so she had 63 this time. I'm going to take it here with me. And this is the keyboard I use every day, so I should be better than this, though. I don't know that will be. This is not my normal typing area, right? I usually have the palm rest as well. Seventy-one. But yeah, this is my standard keyboard, so I would expect to get higher on this one. If you'd asked me before I started testing, I would assume that was closer to a hundred because I do type very fast and a lot. We'll let the boy get one last test in. I can't imagine he's gonna do very well. <laughs> 35. So in conclusion, really, it, you kind of have to say the keyboard's not that bad because we all typed fairly well on the Razer Blade itself in comparison to the other laptops. Now, I have had the privilege of using all these. Now, the other two have not used this at all. This is the first time using it. They both thought it felt kind of weird, but they both had pretty good scores for their respective typing. So I don't know what to tell you. I think if it's your only keyboard to get used to it, if you have seven laptops like I do, it's going to feel weird every time you type on it. So if you could put the Dell XPS keyboard in here, this would be a pretty stellar device. If you don't count the two times that it went black and just reset itself. I don't like that. Other than that though, it's been a pretty great machine, except for, like I said, twice, it kind of just crashed on itself, which is enough to make me get rid of it. But keyboard wise, I might could be a limit in that regard, but build quality is top notch. The keyboard lighting is really cool, of course. And obviously, even though the keyboard feels cramped to me, it does not really impact typing that much. You could even say, as you could and i type better on there than i do on the other devices so which is crazy to me all right that's it thanks for checking me out